Hey everybody, welcome to Choose Your Own Path. So, first of all, I'm going to start off this video with giving two big shout outs. One is to Creighton S, and the other one is to Mark Rhines for donating and um, through my PayPal and helping me purchase this Friskus, Fris, Fis Cars mat. It's a, uh, you cut into it and it kind of seals itself back up. If it wasn't for you guys that helped me donate, I would have bought this, and that's awesome. You guys are wicked. So, cheers to that. Any kind of help goes to the channel. Again, like I said, I purchased the tools. And that's what happens with it. So, on today's build, one of the oldest monsters that I can remember when I was a little boy was the Eye of the Beholder. Now, we're going to build this guy. I built it the other day, but I want to build a second. I always build two of pretty much everything like two reapers two three trees a couple of spiders you know i do that kind because of, i do it first and if i can't do it which i can because you can um i want to re do it with you guys so what do we need to make this guy happen well it's all household items maybe not everybody owns a ping pong table neither do i but again there's a dollar store and that's all we need to do. Get yourself a ping pong ball. <coughs> You'll need any kind. I use these. These are with a plastic coating. They're a little thicker. Uh, paper clips. All right. You're going to go to the dollar store if you have. Or if you have it kicking around the home. Get yourself a whole bunch of beads. You'll want the smaller ones. All right. The small ones are in there. There's a whole tons of them. That's for the eye. You're going to need toothpicks. With the toothpicks, we're going to show you. You're going to cut them out. That's going to be the teeth. You want the sharp ones. You'll need a piece of stock paper. Um, Pop-tart box. Good enough. We'll show you that process. A base, which is our wooden pieces that we use for... Like, these are old clipboards that they're throwing out again. That's our wooden base depending on what you want it to stand on. Some guys, I guess, when they buy their stuff, they want it thin, I want it thicker to go on there. A pencil. I used a wooden pencil and I cut it. That's what I'm using as a stock. And of course, what we're looking for is our hot glue, lots of glue sticks. You'll need an X-Acto knife, a Sharpie, a pencil, and then paints, and then full total on imagination <laughs> like my shirt you don't want to see the back of it i'll let you see it later um so let's get this bill going so what you want to do first of all is take your ping pong ball you want to draw a circle around it all right that's your first your first look because that's going to end up being where you're going to position the face then you want to take an exacto knife and you want to carefully cut around just the first the first part of it and then with a pair of scissors you can cut this part out straight through so it looks like a little Batman. when you have it cut out what happens is the round is too much so you take your exacto knife or scissors and you cut a little slit more here a little bit less down here so it almost looks like the mouth is um, not as crazy looking now another thing you could do and we'll do it now is the top is you may want to give it a little bit more because this is where the mouth goes now i noticed with my first one okay guys is uh it turns out that the teeth that i put in the toothpicks that i put in um if you cut them too big if you cut them too big they become really just big jagged edges all right and i mean it's it's cool painting is on on you you got to use your imagination it's all good it's all good so again we'll go back through that step is all we want to do is get the ping pong ball draw a circle cut out the bottom half and where the middle is keep it in. draw on your eye okay so then the next thing i'm just going to bring you guys down it's probably easier this way is take your hot glue and the first thing you want to do is basically 
go along where the eye is. All right. You want to put some hot glue. You want to build that up right where the eye is. Okay. And then let that set. And then just keep on following the rest of your line. Now that's just to make it like the top of the face kind of thing, all right? And don't hold your hot glue too hard on the ping pong ball because the ping pong ball will melt. And what I like to do is if it gets too big and chunky, just kind of wipe it around kind of thing. It doesn't matter if you get this stuff on the ball. I'm going to show you why. What you want to do is next is take your hot glue and just run it everywhere. And when I mean run it everywhere, I mean give it some look. All right. This will be like the dead skin kind of look. You're going to give your, your, your eye of the beholder and so on. And like I said, if it's too thick if you put a big glob on it just pull it down all right now again guys hot glue means hot on the fingers so be careful i burnt myself way too many times all right so there you go we're going to keep on going with that and like i said it gets hot and then you get it all over your brand new table but that hot glue disappears fast it's easy to wipe out So, what I did last time was I waited to the end. That's why I built this um, base first. What I'm going to do, no, I'm not going to do that because I have to put on another piece first after I put that piece on. So, what you're going to do next is get yourself a piece of that stock paper. Make sure you're using this side, not the shiny side. Cut it about 16 by 20 millimeters long. Take it in your hand and kind of fold it up. What this is going to do, once this is dry, you want this to dry a bit. I could have probably did this step after, but that's fine. But I wanted to just show you guys that piece. So once this is dry, which it's not, let's let it dry for a couple seconds. And again, when I said the names Creighton and... Uh, Mark um, Creighton was one who purchased one of my patches with two stickers and Mark was donated through the PayPal account to help purchase this mat and the beads and other stuff too. I mean, it was awesome. That's what the craft's about. <coughs> All right, so that's dry. It doesn't take very long. So with this piece, this is going to become the lower and bottom lip so what you want to do is you just want to dry fit it to wherever you're, like you're basically looking at covering a portion of his mouth like so to what you want to do is up to you how wide you want your mouth I would dry fit it to about there so what we're gonna do is take our hot glue and we're just gonna do the bottom first, okay guys? That's 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 the one we have to start off with the bottom of it. Alright. And all you wanna do very carefully, because you drop things and burns, let's figure out where you wanted to put it. And hold it down to there. Alright, so we're gonna have his mouth a bit bigger than the last one. So pressing down on it, getting it to, to bond right away is what we want. And it doesn't take long. Now you'll see that the ends flare up. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hot glue again. You're going to do one side at a time. And you're going to push that down and hold it. And again, like I said, the hot glue will actually kind of disform disfigure your ping pong ball if you're not careful if you put too much of it because it's very hot and then we'll do the other side and like
like I said, it's hot, so be careful. Usually, you could use like an end of a pencil or something just to hold it down, just like that. Blowing on it will dry it faster. Now, while you're doing that, you could work on the bottom by adding hot glue up to the round part. The Eye of the Beholder was one of the first monsters that I remember as a little boy being a character that everybody didn't know about what it did it was pretty awesome back as as a kid don't worry about the girth in the back that will be filled up with hot glue why do people talk like that they talk like they are robots i don't know <laughs> i see a lot of youtubers do that you know, they're just trying to make it sound better or what Okay, let's just talk the way we talk. All right, so once that is set in place and you're happy with it, which I would say I am, whoa, but it's hot and it's still sticky. So the next thing you could do, and this is just for, for yourself, is take some hot glue and add it to the inside where the ping pong ball also matched up with the paper but also on the inner ledge and what you're going to do is you're building up his mouth where the teeth will go all right and then what i like to do also is add a tongue to it before i put the teeth in and that is just going to be i'm going to take the hot glue and i'm just going to squirt it in there try to go straight Again, guys, make sure you have a lot of hot glue on hand because you'll go through it very fast. High temperature hot glue. So what we're going to do is just add a whole bunch of hot glue inside. I'll try to show you guys if it come, if it focuses. Um, in there is where the tongue is. So I don't know if you could see that, but. You'll see it when we paint it, and it's not very visible because even on this guy, there, if you go close to it, you can see it. It's red. He's got some red inside there. It's not. It depends how big your mouth is. My guy's got a big mouth, just like me. And again, depending on how you want it to dry, um, I mean, if it, it, if it wants, if it runs, it'll run all to the back if you leave it at an angle. Uh, you know. It all depends. Like it's still pretty tacky in there. You can take a hair dryer and dry it out if you want. Whatever you feel is best. All right, and whatever works for you. Okay, so we're just gonna set that guy down. Next is we're gonna work on the little eyes. So when I say beads, you want well, when you want the beads, you want the beads with probably the smaller holes would be better. But that's okay because hot glue will fill that up. So cut yourself a piece. Oh, I don't know. This is probably about an inch at the most. Get some hot glue going on. And all you want to do is run it on the top for now. Nice big glob. But you got to watch hot glue wants to run. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to stick it in the hole. And what I like to do is go back and forth for a little bit so, and try not to make that little piece of metal come all the way out like that because it'll it's not good so just level and that's it that's your first step you're gonna let that dry for a couple of seconds and then you're gonna work on building it up with the hot glue so what you want to do is just start off with taking a bead and going around the top like so nice big thicker bead if you want but then again hot glue runs so you have to kind of work with it push it down a little a little at a time all right and then I always add some to the top, just right on the top of it, where the where that piece was, where the, it looks like it's going to stick out. And then what you want to do is just gradually drag down your hot glue from the top 
be mindful that it will, because it's hot, it's still going to run. And you just want to kind of work with it, twisting, twisting your stick around, or your, or your paper clip, I guess. And you want to bring that down like so. Once this dries, it won't take long. I built the other ones last night so that we wouldn't be sitting here and trying to do all of them. Oh, I should have said, you would need 10 of these guys built for your monster. Um, the eye of the holder has 10, 10 eyes, as I know. So, as this guy is drying, which won't take very long, we're just going to stick him here no, no, no problem. and we'll let that set all right so we're gonna go back to our eye of the beholder which is now it's hard so like i said what you want to do is take your hot glue and run it everywhere to make that sort of a skin looking even on the paper or the the card box stock and that is hot like a dumbass so you really want to get that in there. And remember, when you're holding this thing, you have to be super careful because it's hot. That's why I have it this way. I just burnt my finger here pretty good. This is a little dollar store mat, and it's great to keep it here so you don't ruin your mat. It's a good mat for cutting, so on and so forth. Another tip is licking your finger or dipping it in water and just dabbing. Dabbing the hot glue and it will help it cool down a lot faster and also you can work with molding what you want to do for shape and all that all right all right so that's dry that's almost dry <laughs> some spots are some spots aren't and like I said don't worry about the big clobs it'll look pretty cool when it's when it's done so what we're going to do next is we're just going to keep on adding because we didn't get to this side. And we want to build up the eye. So all we're going to do here is add more to the top, getting a little bit of the big chunks off the eye. If you think that the thing is too high, again with just a little bit of wetness. Use your finger and sort of touch it and shape it, okay? Just like so. And that will cool it down and go from there. All right. And there is the eye. It's protruding. The eye is always sticking out more because he's looking at you, you can see the angle, the eye is coming out. Very, very simple. All right, so what do we want to do next? We want to hang, put the base on. The base, very simple. We're just going to find out where we want it centered. And again, same thing. Figure out which way your guy's going to stand. Add a crap load of hot glue to the top. Make sure it stays on the top. And let's put a, let's set it so it can it will have something to hold on to when we paint. Now, depending on how tall you want your characters, because some of the miniatures they're a lot bigger for the builds. Again, this is just a beginner set to how to. You can figure, and I say you can figure it out because it's best to know if you're going to use one of my sets or use someone else's sets or your own set and how big you actually want your monsters. My monster is from the top, whoop, from here to here, roughly is, we're gonna go with inches, is about four inches tall, maybe a little taller with the eyes, um, and then, you know, going to the Reaper, same thing, around four inches. So they are bigger builds, but they add to the ambience that monsters are always bigger than the players. I'm thinking that's the way it is. That's the way it's going to go. 
So once that's set, just go back and take your hot glue and just give it a good amount on the top. And you're just gonna build up. All right, so working on the eye again, what we're gonna do is just glob ourselves hot glue we're just gonna control it now what we're doing is we're making thickness to the tentacle and again nothing here you'll see you won't see the red when it's done because you will be painting it right so don't worry about what it looks like All right, just a th thick but not too thick where it wants to run overboard and give you too much of a big globbing kind of got to turn it once in a while and then there you go and just what I like to do is just smooth it out a bit doesn't matter the monster looks like a monster so now we're gonna let that guy dry this guy here kind of fell over all right, guys, so what we're going to do next is we're going to take our character and we're just going to put a coating of, this is a Mod Podge and a uh, ink with our diluted water. And we're just going to give it a coat, first of all, just to paint it up and to sort of seal inside. You could use any color you want. I'm using a blue this time. I do have a black. What we want to do is just get it fully coated everywhere so that the paint can stick to it after. All right. So what I usually do is I'll add little features. Also, start poking your holes to where randomly where you want to put your eyes in. Um, I think what I like best doing is taking little corner pieces like so use tweezers add some hot glue to it make sure you have hot glue uh, ready add a little bit of hot glue to it and then randomly stick these guys anywhere you want these are like little thorny spikes that was that could have been through the process when you started. It doesn't matter. It's all good. All right. So let's set up by getting our teeth in there. Now, don't forget, paint your tongue first. All right, and our inside, so you can see it's been painted. So what you're gonna want to do is get yourself a pair of tweezers, and you want to cut your toothpicks um, I don't even know if that's like three millimeters long but you want them pretty tiny so that they can be inserted into the mouth so all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna add some hot glue to little areas and hold down our toothpick for a second and it starts off the build of the teeth. All right, so next step is to insert your arms or your eyes into your monster. So get yourself where the holes are, get yourself some hot glue, run it on there, pretty good. And then simple as finding where you want to start off and inserting it now you can bend it right away or you can wait till after it's up to you you go from what you think is the best positions all right so just again hot glue what i like to do is take the longer ones that i've done and put them in the back and then the smaller ones I think 
I lost the hole. <laughs> so I have to re-cut one in. And we'll put it right here. Hey. All right, so let's finish off the thing. Like what I said before was the painting is on what you want to do it. This is what my guy looks like. It's got some green and brown and blacks and whatever. So my final stage is to take my Mod Podge. And what it is is I added a little bit of water to it. Um, the Mod Podge did get a little bit of darkness, I guess, from the brush. But that's okay. So all I want to do with this is now is seal. <coughs> excuse me. Seal my character. So... All I'm going to do is wipe this on here very carefully. Well, not carefully, but enough to say that it's on. And it's going to dry, and it's going to dry solid. So the point is, is you're not looking at moving the eyes for any reason. You're just basically having it so it's on a show of display for your monster. That's all it is. So we're just going to finish off by just brushing the mosh posh on it it will turn it a little darker which is fine but it'll also give it a solid state of not being able to just fall apart on you that's that's the important thing so it's gonna dry and it's ready to go it's ready to play so let me know what you think in the comments um, again thank you to my subscribers that are always supportive Thank you for the donation of helping out with the buys and the purchases of stuff. If you want, I'll set my PayPal link up. If you want to donate to help out the channel, anything's appreciated. We'll go from there. I do have patches and stickers left if you want to support in that way where you can get something back for your, um, your thing. You just have to hit me up at richard.vorio at gmail.com and uh, we can talk from there, see if you want something. Um, don't forget guys support everybody's art Don't do not do not do not Ever have any negative comments about other people's stuff. Everybody's great at what they do And we're all learning very basic. So again To the end of our channel these are the guys we made and they'll go with the set So thanks for watching like subscribe and share Choose your own path. If I can do it, you can do it.